Here's what you have to do during heart attack. First aid for heart attack. Help the person sit down. Call 143 immediately. Give them aspirin. Give constant reassurance. Frequently asked questions in heart attack. What is a heart attack? A heart attack happens when the blood supply to the heart muscle is suddenly blocked. The blockage means the heart can't work effectively, so a heart attack can be fatal. The severity of the heart attack depends on the size of the area of the heart muscle affected. How can I tell if someone is having a heart attack? The symptoms of a heart attack can vary but may include persistent, vice-like chest pain which may spread to their arms, neck, jaw, back or stomach. In some cases, the pain may be in only one of these locations. Breathlessness, feeling unwell, and sweating. We also have to note that heart attack symptoms may vary with gender. What should I do if the person has medication to use? If they have tablets or a spray, let them take it. You may need to help them. Can I give them aspirin? You can offer the person an aspirin tablet to chew slowly, as this will help thin their blood. They should not take more than 300 mg in one dose. The best type is one not enteric or coated. What is the difference between a heart attack and a cardiac arrest? A heart attack happens when the blood supply to the heart muscle is suddenly blocked, but it may still pump blood at a lower rate. Cardiac arrest is when the heart stops completely, causing the person to collapse, lose consciousness, and stop breathing. It may be caused by a heart attack. What is angina? Angina is a tight feeling in the chest. It occurs when the body is unable to provide enough blood for the demand of the heart because the arteries supplying the heart have narrowed. It is often associated with exercise or excitement. Symptoms include chest pain and shortness of breath, but unlike a heart attack, symptoms ease with rest and taking prescribed medication. Some people who have angina manage it with medication that comes in tablet or spray form. What should I do if they become unconscious and stop breathing? Begin cardiopulmonary resuscitation or CPR if the person is unconscious. Push hard and fast on the center of the person's chest in a fairly rapid rhythm, about 100 to 120 compressions a minute. If an automated external defibrillator or AED is immediately available, and the person is unconscious, follow the device instructions for using it.